Hello and welcome my fellow homo sapien friends and we are back today with a Destiny 2 video. Now obviously I've not done a Destiny 2 video in ages so this will be a nice change of pace as well for me. So what we're going to do in this video today is we're going to be doing top 6 changes in Destiny 2 that I want to see. Now these are not necessarily changes that everyone wants or there might even be changes that are already on the way, just not been spoken about yet. So these are just personal changes that I feel would make the game better for me. Now obviously if you think of any other reasons or other things you want to add to this list then please do not be afraid to add them into the comments section down below. Now with all my top 6 videos on a Friday, they're never in a specific order, I just do them as I go. So we're going to start the video off with complete new looks for all armor sets for all factions. As some of you already may know, I collect the armor sets. Like, they look good and it's nice to have a complete set of some armor pieces. Now this is not to say that I like all the armor pieces for all characters. The I've only collected the ones that I felt were deem worthy of me collecting. Now I have most of them to be honest with you and some of the faction ones especially on like the EDZ, Nessus, they're just a bit dull and a bit too safe for my liking. Like I think that the artists maybe need to research a bit more into what kind of armors would look good and how they can incorporate them into the game. Now it would be great to see new armors with all the new factions as well, especially with Season 3 coming up quite soon. Now I don't know if they're going to implement this change at all, or whether it would be, it's going to be a new Season 3 kind of thing, but either way I would really love to see new armor sets because at the moment I've got most of them like I've said before, and I just find myself not having anything to grind for and finding it really difficult to actually get into the game and find things that I actually want to grind for at the moment. I also have most of well, all the exotics for all three characters as well and including all the weapons. Now the only thing I don't have is all the ornaments for them but not overly fussed about some of them but I've collected the ones that I really liked. Also I don't know about you guys as well but I'm kind of getting a bit tired of the reskins. Not just on armor, but on ghosts, ships, weapons, pretty much everything is a reskin of something else. Like, it's almost like they've lost their imagination and they're struggling to clench it back. Like, surely it can't be that difficult to think of new ways to make weapons look cooler and stuff like that. Like, I mean, Destiny 2 has been a bit of a flop in most aspects, but. I feel that it can be redeemed. I mean, it's easy to forget that like Destiny 1 started off really badly as well and it lost a lot of its player base and then it gained it all back. But uh, like, I wouldn't expect a company as big as Bungie to make the same mistakes as they did in Destiny 1. Like, they should have stuck to things that actually worked in Destiny 1 and they put them into Destiny 2. I know it's a new game and obviously the the cabal of the Red Legion, sorry, have taken over the tower and everything that we earned and unlocked in Destiny 1 was destroyed. But how is it that we've got exotics that were in Destiny 1 back? Do you know what I mean? But they're not even like the good ones from Destiny 1. But they seem to be all the exotics, not even the fucking Red Legion wanted, so like that's stupid and again it's it's another thing that like they've just not thought of anything so they've just brought an old exotic back put a slightly different perk on it it is annoying and it's a, another reskin at the end of the day isn't it it's just it's a type of reskin so we'll move on from there before i get even further into it and strike modifiers again is another thing that i feel that would be making the game a lot more grindy especially with strikes as well i mean People only literally do probably the three strikes that they need to do to get their engram from Zavala to try and get that little piece of loot that they probably need or still need that exotic. And that's pretty much it, I think. I mean, people play the strikes just because there's literally like nothing else to grind for. And it, it's sad that like it's it's kind of come down to that. And it's. I just feel that like if we had some sort of strike specific loot with it maybe like not so much like a complete armor set but definitely like a new weapon 
or a weapon that does certain things in strikes. Maybe it, it um, with obviously the new Nightfall is to get rid of its timer, isn't it? So like, and now it's got the um, like point scoring, like it did in Destiny One. Now that we've got that back. Like, why isn't there a weapon that could probably like double the score or maybe like do a percentage more each time you kill get a kill like do um say like uh let's probably get like 10 percent uh, additional points each time you get a kill with this weapon or something like that like that could be a great perk with the whole obviously the new nightfall coming in and it would just make it a lot more fun and it's obviously specific to doing strikes and doing nightfalls and stuff like that so that would be pretty cool to have that sort of element into it now moving on swiftly from there we've got sparrow racing now i loved sparrow racing it was a great little thing that happened at christmas unfortunately we didn't have it this year for destiny 2 because obviously the the amount of problems that was building up we kind of missed out on that but it'd be great to have like an all year round sort of like uh, sparrow racing and obviously with each expansion or DLC we have a new map or something like this or a, a, an event like like we did with the um, Crimson Days Dawning and stuff like that like have like new tracks and stuff like that and obviously you should be able to customize your own Sparrow to make it more suitable to you like get its, get its colors changed put ornaments on it maybe even put your clan flag on it just to represent your, your clan in the in the races and stuff like that that would be absolutely fantastic I feel and you know it's, it's an oversight that maybe people haven't thought of before but definitely I enjoyed the Sparrow Racing and I can't wait to see it back especially if it comes back in Destiny 2. Now moving on from there we probably need more exotic quests like at the moment the only real one is the raid one and that is an absolute bitch to do. I was reading through it yesterday actually with my friend because we were about to do it and honestly oh my god there's so many bloody steps on it but that's fantastic because it gives you that sort of grind to do and to get this weapon and it's fantastic apparently like I've not used it yet because oh my god there's just so much to do and I have very little time at the moment to to actually play this to be fair and get through the raid 11 times it's nuts but definitely like more exotic quests like we did have in the beginning to get obviously like the rat pack and stuff like that like maybe have some more of those in it i found that getting the exotics that i have was way too easy and i don't remember it being this easy in destiny 1 so making it a bit more of a challenge to get exotics would absolutely be fine with me moving on from there we have horde mode now i want something similar to iron forge and the prison of elders but something a little bit different this time. Maybe have like waves upon waves. I might have said this in another video before and it's just gone unnoticed. But having sort of like like each, I don't know, probably let's say 10 waves. After 10 waves you get a, a reward, maybe an emblem, possibly a piece of armor or, or a weapon. Maybe have like an armor set, but have it so that you have to do the prison, like the, the, the horde mode a great number of times before you can unlock certain things. So let's say for instance that you, you did your 10 rounds, you got your emblem and maybe a couple of tokens for the, the vendor for the horde mode so that you can buy all the stuff from that and and do that sort of thing and then obviously once you get to probably about 20 waves maybe make that a, a maximum or something get like a piece of armor so once you've hit that it's you get a piece of armor but have it change each time maybe have like a burn on it or change the enemy change the location something like that just just something to spice it up and make you grind hard for that sweet loot so this last part is materials. Now each planet has a material. I don't know about you, but I find them a bit redundant. Like they're, they're not necessarily, you don't really need them. Why not make them a necessity? Why not make them go towards armor upgrades or weapon upgrades or maybe even ships or sparrows if we can get the sparrow racing back into it. Maybe make modifications on those by using the crafting materials. It would be great to see something like that. A bit more crafting available in Destiny 2 because I, I quite 
quite like crafting and I, I know quite a lot of people do as well. It'd be great to see something like that and especially with the the forge when we did the mercury stuff. That was fantastic. Like it was great to see that sort of going out, getting materials and then coming back and forging a weapon. That was pretty cool and it was quite a challenge actually some weeks to get certain things that you needed for it. So why not have something like that with the materials that we've got currently. Now of course I'm going to end the video there but if you did like the video please hit that like button, subscribe and obviously share my videos. This will help my channel out greatly. And also before you go please check out my other video on Biomutant. It has all the latest big updates that are coming for the game and this game looks absolutely fantastic so please go check that out before you go. So thanks very much for watching this video, please take care of yourselves and others and I'll see you in the next video.